Hey folks, hope you're having a good day today. Welcome back, we're gonna continue with some more uh, SD Gundam G Generations Cross Race today. Focusing on the Gundam Wing story, starting at stage two, and uh, we'll see where we get. Got a couple hours today. I did play some in the interim between last stream and today. I did not complete any additional story but I got a little more XP for my pilots, for some of the units. And I have a whole breakdown of what happened. It wasn't much, there wasn't much excitement. I did manage to, however, complete a quest to defeat Noen and uh, with Shenlong Gundam to, ugh. Uh, to, to make no one available for purchase as a pilot. Ah, oh, good afternoon, uh, Finboy Miss Prime. How are you? Oh, let's, uh, uh... Just to give a quick recap of what we're going on here. I've slotted in the gray space, space type into our warship group. Everybody's about level 3 or level 4 at the moment. And... The get gauges from the units in the first stage are all about half full. I'll continue to attempt to get those off stream if we don't manage to get them today. Second group, uh, I can't use these four in deployment at the moment, but I have them all there available in case, uh, in case I want to change who I'm using on the fly. It'd probably be more effective just to drop a third group down but I like the flexibility for now I don't need that third group doing good love watching people play this saw people playing it with uh, stages on extra ooh randomizer for picking mechs and a nuzlocke if they die that sounds fantastic I would like to eventually get into doing some of that sort of stuff but I'm not uh, experienced enough to, to do that at the moment I've got enough on the tornado Gundam to development uh, to develop it yeah, I do. Uh, that's one of the things I was actually going to check out as we started here. I forgot last night to go ahead and actually look at some of these. Uh, so we could develop it, and we could get uh, Phoenix Zero, a Landman Rhodey. Ooh, the M1A Astray. Or a Tyrion All-Region type. I would like to change these from the Tornado Gundam only because we do have two of them available or three of them available to us at the moment. So adding in some variety might be fun. Tyrion's the only choice that kind of sucks. Sometimes it's fun choosing the stuff that sucks and just seeing how you how you make do with it, but again, I'm not good with, I'm not uh, experienced enough to, to want to go with that. I am playing mostly on normal at the moment. Uh, let's take a look at the, the M1, M1A Astray. It's obviously, you know, the the Gundam frame here. It's very standard look, but... Shield Defend. Pretty good stats for, for what we have available to us now. And we'll be able to get probably some cool units out of it. So let's actually go ahead and... Let's develop the right one. Excuse me, I apologize. Um, let's go ahead and develop the one in our raid group here. Always fun to get more units. It'll be a little bit behind in level since it drops back down to one, but we're, we're early enough that I don't think it's gonna matter. It's pretty good. I, I tend to go by rule of cool here. If it looks cool, it's cool enough for me. Uh, Phoenix Zero, we uh, need another level on that. You know what? What the heck? Let's get a let's get some new units as well. Let's get the Landman Rody. Have I done design yet? Uh, yes, I've done. I've designed every unit I have available that I can at the moment. Um, I have no money to to purchase new units, but I'm going to go back and see what we've got after we develop a couple of these. Uh, Landman Rody. Let's see what he's got available. Uh, hammer chopper and a submachine gun. The standard IBO nano limb armor. No, I appreciate it. Uh, I have I have no complaints about people saying, "Hey, you know, you, have you done this? Check this out." 
there's a lot of a lot of subsystems in this game, and I like that sort of thing. But it can be overwhelming if I'm not super used to everything yet. Well, if it turns into the Gujan, I absolutely want this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, Alea of Vision system, uh, reaction plus 30, that's not gonna come into play for a while, I don't believe, so. But I, uh, yeah, Gujan, I really like the design of. So, yeah, we're gonna get that. And I'm assuming you mean it turns into the, the frog Gujan, the original Gujan, and then from there you probably are able to upgrade it to the tech of Amgusion. Uh, Union Rialdo, we've got the Hellion already. We can change its colors. Uh, space type, I don't know that I want that at the moment. Or the Union Flag, and who does not like a Union Flag? Oh, and one Union, I wonder if I can afford... I can afford next to nothing at the moment. <laughs> But uh, I'm a big flag fan, so yeah, we're gonna grab the flag. Mobile worker Tekadan with the grays I have gets the grays custom and design. Ooh. And I will keep that for now. Uh, again, long range gets us again. Or into Sigu. Uh, no, I don't actually want to develop this one yet. I want to see what else is going on. I like to see all the options we have available to us. Uh, especially as it's going to be slow to gain money at first. Mobile workers are pretty cheap. I'll take a look. I look at that. Uh, the Zoot. Again, we're missing that level 7 option, but we can get the Gazoot, which is something. The Works Gin, the Linear Gun Tank. Can we see its transform mode? does work in space. I'm going to see what that level 7 option is first, but uh, I'm tempted to, to get the Gazoot there. And I, you know, as always, I apologize for any botched pronunciations. English is my first language, and I am still terrible at it. Uh, so let's get rid of the mouse, and we should have any designs? No. We're not getting a design all option, so I don't believe we do. All right, let's see. Produce. We need a mobile worker tech advance. We actually do have enough for it. Let's purchase it. And design all designs. Yep, there we go. There's the Grace Custom. No reason not to add that to our production list. And let's see, how much will that actually cost us to purchase, not that we have the money at the moment. Um, it's custom. Why? Pretty nice looking unit there. Uh, it's got pretty good mobility. And uh, again, the IBO nano limit armor will come in handy. But for now, we're just gonna have to look and not touch. Because we're gonna need to get some cash. And I, I'm, I am doing this without the, uh, the fancy units down here they give you for free. I felt like playing with those would be a little cheapening of the experience. And one other thing I, have to, I do have to apologize to pretty much everybody for at the moment is I do have ads running about every half hour. That's primarily for me. Uh, anybody not in the know, I did develop a blood clot one of my legs uh, a few months back. And I'm trying to make sure I get up and walk around a little bit every hour or so. So th that's why those are on. Uh, I got a green ingot and organized captures. I do. I'm pretty sure I, I took those already. I just haven't sold them. I know it gives so much money, but I feel like it's just going to make it a little too easy early on. I want to, I want to have a little bit of a struggle. You know, I want to, I want to have to make some, some careful decisions. 
But if there's if there's something you'd love to see, you'd like to see me to pull in, I'm happy to do that. Uh, and I, I will go the extra mile to do that if I can. Uh, Oops. I was looking if it also had a second hanger. Mm. Yeah, that's that's one of the things I've been uh, kind of keyed into getting early on is anything with a second hanger. Let's see. All right, so it automatically updated our, our units and pilots when we sold them. So in our raid unit group two here, we now have the M1A Astray and the Union Flag. And my goal is to primarily try to deploy those units we create rather than the necessarily the Phoenix Gundam, the Phoenix, you know, Zero One Tornado Gundams that we were given at the beginning. Even if they're a little bit weaker, I think it's uh, part of the fun of everything. So let's uh, jump into a stage and... Uh, they also... Units I can replace if they blow up? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, we're on to stage two scenario for bloodshed here. Many units available. That's cool. Probably, again, the standard wing units. Uh, sand rock, heavy arms, death side, etc. コロニーの意思を確かめるべく宇宙へとあがったドーリアン外務次官しかし彼の護衛を務めるスペシャルズのレディーアンは密かに計画していたドーリアン外務次官の暗殺を決行いやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや
How's it going this afternoon? Or day, I'm not really necessarily sure where you're located at. For me, it's the, the middle of the afternoon here on the east coast of the United States. Mm. Oh, I need to get back to going to the gym as well. I, I'm, I'm terrible about it, and that's part of the reason I got my blood clot. Uh, since COVID times, it's been... It's been hard going back, and it's just easy to get set in my ways. Hey, Lightning! How are you doing today? Thanks for dropping by. Uh, for me, it's not the, the COVID fears. It's just more... Well, not the COVID fears anymore, I'll put it that way. It's just I, I get lazy and very set in my ways. So once I stop getting into the routine of going to the gym, I have no momentum to go back. Um, my day's been pretty dull. I woke up this morning and I've been playing around with uh, some real basic stream things here and there and watched uh, Wish for Mercury. You finished up Battle Alliance the other day, so now you gotta grind out all the suits. Nice! I gotta... I have to admit, I have, I've only played a little bit since they added the second DLC update. And I think I'm going to wait mm, until they add the, the third DLC to really get going again on it. That's like brand new. It was a cinch. They're pretty much the same make. It's like I'm seeing double though. Right, boss? True. Which is which is what Master Quattro has so worried. Which is what has Master Quattro so worried. We did luck out though. Wouldn't want an enemy of guys who can fight like he does. What movie you seeing? I'm in your debt. Can't say I expected that. Well, you're free to go, but do you mind telling me your name? I'm Quattro Roberto Winner. I've got no use for names, but I suppose travel will work. Call me Trawa Barton. Thank you, Trawa. Let's do this again. Assuming we're both alive, we most likely will. I hope you have a good time. Master Quadra, you're just letting him go? Knowing our location? It'll be fine. Not exactly the chatty type, is he? But, but what if he comes after us? He's more than welcome to try. It'll be a chance to see him again. Scenario for bloodshed. New Edward space. The shells have arrived, Your Excellency. Added to our ground forces, the numbers will be on our side. Understood. Fine work. We've also taken the liberty of increasing the numbers of reports stating that Oz's upper echelon will be gathering at the new Edwards base. You and I will be there. That much is true. You'll be using yourself as a lawyer, Your Excellency. And thus the people can give themselves freely to history. Now then, let us see what happens. It shall go according to your will, Your Excellency. It all rests on the Alliance. It's up to history to prove whether we were right or not. I watched the early part of Wing pretty recently, so I can... I, yeah, I'm seeing these these scenes play in my head as well. And, you know, 
if a movie gets mixed reviews, you know, just go into it, and if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. You know, take it, take it for what it is. The Alliance was formed to keep the world's military powers in check. That being said, haven't we become a military power ourselves? All of this work developing new weapons, and for what? Is this the path we're supposed to take? So, you're suggesting a rejection. <laughs> Only to start, our end goal should be complete and total disarmament. Our end goal should be complete and total disarmament. And what of these most recent incidents? Attacks from mobile suits are made from gondanium alloy, an alloy only manufactured in space. Such power only serves to put the Earth in danger. Why not ask someone who's fought them? Tracing? I believe the colonies are engaged in subversive activities. Indeed they are. Applause from all. Your Excellency. Settle yourself, my lady. We'll need actors within the Alliance. Actors, Your Excellency. People to speak the Alliance's true intent. I see. I want the colonies to know that we understand their suspicions. And to allay their fears, we must open a dialogue with them immediately. But what about the mobile suits? They'll see no point in destruction once they realize we want peace. Let us talk. We might even find a road we've missed. Of course. History is heading down the wrong path. All right, then. No, we'll need our last actor in place. Yeah, there's there's enough dialogue in this that you pretty much get the, the full extent of the stories it represents here. And I know I do occasionally have some viewers who can't watch but do listen in, so that's why I'm reading the dialogue out loud. But what is this? An attack. They're attacking the base. What? That... I want every available suit out there. They want to fight, they've got one. Whee! That looks like a nice attack. New Edward's base. That's where Oz is gathering. What up? Duo. Hey, you remember my name and everything. <laughs> and I'll try not to bungle this one, alright? It's your funeral. Willy well, I can tell this is going to be a hot one. I don't think you get it. This is a critical mission. I totally get it. Now's our chance to make Oz beg for mercy. It's not like before. We're cutting the head off the snake. Right. Then we can get off this planet. Hey, when game franchise expect you to read manga or watch a series to understand it. Yeah, um... I got into that a little bit with Super Robot Wars. Where, yeah, it's it's partially Gundam, but it has a spl spattering of other, other mecha series. And as a result, I think I played the game for a total of about 13 hours and spent probably easily 100 hours watching various franchises involved with it. And... I'm excited to play the game, but I, I want to experience their stories first. Which is why I've come back to uh, Crossrays here. Because I'm familiar with just about every every story touched in it. Uh, they're not slashing with that defensive line. There are way more of them than I expected. No falling back this time. Oh, 
save some for me, guys. Or aren't those Oz's new models? Why are they attacking the Alliance? Yeah, I get that. It's It can be pretty expensive when it's not on sale. Oh, come on. Them again? Hey, Trawa. Good to see you again. Is it just me, or do those two machines look like ours? Don't tell me they're... I can do this alone. Well, so can I, but strength in numbers, right? I wonder. Definitely. I'll fight anyone who gets in my way. Hey now, what's all this? Hey, those two suits look like ours. Lady, our actors are ready. Let us raise the curtains. Yes, Your Excellency. Hail those Gundam pilots. Tell them we want peace with the colonies. Not before we get you out of here, Marshal. But... You still want to negotiate for peace, sir. We can't lose you in this fight. I'll forgive you the sarcasm. I <laughs> see. I don't plan to die in vain. For the sake of our negotiations. Then please use my shuttle, sir. It's ready for emergency launch. I think you'd be so accommodating. I am with the Alliance, Marshal. That you are. And thank you. Of course, sir. Treze, where is my shuttle? Right this way, General Septim. What? Why? I thought separate shuttle is a safer bet. I have my own personal shuttle, in fact. A bit cramped, but the latest specials model. Is that right? Then I suppose I'll come with you. Follow me. An unfortunate coincidence. But I won't let it stand in the way of peace. A shuttle? The Oz Brass thinks they can run off in a shuttle, eh? Not on my watch. I'm finishing them. Alright, now we can deploy our teams. Um, I can kind of take a look at the map around here. There we go. Uh, I just want to kind of see where things are positioned a little bit. So everybody's on the... Wow. Quite a few units on the western side. Pretty evenly distributed, top to bottom. He surely is. So, I guess... I'll deploy the warship down here. And the raid group up top. And we're going to include the M1A Astray. Oh, uh, our Union flag, our Zoot, and our UAC. Actually, let's put the M1 Astray in front here. And you can, you want you in the middle, tank type on the bottom. And flag up top. Seems good enough to me. Leo. Alright. Let's do this. So we need to destroy the shuttle. And secret conditions are can Hero do it? I don't think that's going to be too much of a difficult pr uh, proposition. Uh, and first and foremost, I am trying to get these units, so I'm going to be mostly focused on filling their get gauges and allowing them to get the kills until we do actually have those. And I can only hit with the sniper rifle, which is fine. It's the same unit. We haven't seen it yet, so I will just skip some of the animations for things we've already seen last time. But it's nice to see new units and new attacks in, in, in action. And 
How far can you move? Not very. And not far enough to get in range. Transform you, and then you get a little further. But still, that's it. Fine. Move everybody up a little bit. Sandrox, I think, got the, the fullest get gauge there. And Death Scythe, this is the first time we've encountered him nothing and wing gunned him barely at all. And we'll throw out our units. Rough them up a little bit. Get the Landman and the Gray Space Type out if we can. I am aware that most of these units are rough, pretty weak, but I enjoy making use of them while they're not absolutely obsolete. I think we've got one more. Tornado Gundam. Our only remaining Tornado Gundam, in fact. And Wing Gundam. You can start off up top here. You don't need much to take them out. Machine Cannon should do it. But I don't think there's a, we need to worry too much about wasting energy, so let's get the Buster Rifle going. That'll rough up this day. Cool Gundams don't look at explosions. That's quite the long after battle animation there. Sure, we'll, oh, well, you're not close enough for that. Let's check out your shield assault. Should be good enough. It would be cool if he had a pure skill on the map where if you fired the Buster Rifle at one, the beam cut into another. Yeah, um, I think those are covered as map or MAP weapons. Or attacks, rather. My understanding is that in this game, compared to some others, they're not quite as damaging or as effective as they'd like to be. And that it turns out, in most cases, it's better to individually attack enemies. But I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Given the size of the Gundams and, and, and the style of weapons they use, it would be nice to have... Uh, machine Cannon. He's not going to finish him off either way. Uh, but we'll prime him for that side. Uh, 
Anything I I was not a fortunate individual growing up. I did not uh, have a PlayStation 2. I did have a PlayStation 3, but... And while I was into the Muso games, I was not aware of... I think it was... Uh, the, the Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn, well, the fourth one. I was not aware of it at the time. I did play it about a year ago, just a couple stages, um, and they're right up my alley, but I have not played through much of any of them at all. And maybe that's something I'll, I'll look into, into doing. Because, as I said, I, I enjoy Musou games. I get pretty much all the spin-off ones that come out. Um, those are most of the games I own for the Switch at this point. I've been slowly accumulating them on um, on PC as they come out. And uh, Dynasty Warriors and Gundam is a perfect matchup, I'd say. Apparently, Death Cypel is the fastest Gundam in the Wing series. I would not have guessed that. Not at all. Alright, well, let's use the Beam Scythe because that's what everybody wants to see from the Death Scythe. Yeah, I'm with you there. I, I... Excuse me. A beam scythe always looks pretty sweet. And I go so far as to say as I hope they make another one someday, though I expect it probably won't happen. I agree, Ghastly. Possible, but not probable. I think, uh... Koei and Omega Force will opt to handle other properties, and... I don't think, uh, Bandai cares all that much. Alright, let's take you out with... this. And we'll watch that from front. For now, for me, um, Destiny Gundam Battle Alliance feels kind of a, a similar a, a niche. It's not not the same, but it's close enough. I'm happy with it. Kill or be killed, there is no try. Well, if we swing things right, we might actually be able to unlock either the Heavy Arms or the Sand Rock this match. So let's... Now the Heavy Arms is a little bit further along. Let's move the Sand Rock in to perform a little bit of support for us. Two of the three Battle Assault games? Nice. I'm one of the weird people who enjoys the uh, Battle Operation 2 system. A little bit bummed it's not out for PC, but I was playing some of uh, Code Fairy and that was fun. Gotta get back to that at some point. Alright. Yeah, we don't need to do all that much to you.
garage open since you have no damage on you. Until they start hitting criticals, we can't actually take them out in one shot. I did change it to set it to automatically do turn chains once uh, all my units have been moved. Yeah, they've done a good job at making... Um, yeah, the Efreet suit's pretty one of the cool ones. I'm a sucker for the, the white and pale rider. I know they're underwhelming, but I like their designs. And you've taken no damage, so we'll just counter with another hatch open for another 6,000 damage to you. Or 7,000. And we don't have all that much energy left. Hey, Crystal! Thanks for dropping by! I appreciate it. I'm still waiting for the day they make a Monster Hunter SRPG. I will buy that day minus 30. Eh, you can just evade. I fell off the wagon of Monster Hunter um, Rise Sunbreak when I was immobilized for about a month and I haven't gotten back on that horse yet. Oh, I'm, I'm much better. This was like three or four months ago at this point. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. That's why I disappeared from everybody's streams. Oh, you know what? Let's take a second to do this. I do, un I do not like how when you change focus on the screen, it stops playing the music. Uh, Crystal's a fantastic uh, streamer. Plays a lot of Monster Hunter and also Dragon Quest. So if you are a fan of either of those, uh, feel free to check her out. Yeah, no problem. I, I apologize I didn't do it sooner. I, I slipped my mind. So heavy arms will take the three damaged ones here. That'll be fine. Excuse me, apologize. And we'll move forward the grunt units. The non-guest units are raid group one, group two, and see if we can get some damage in. So maybe Sandra can take some of the the tragos there. Yeah, snap rifle is the only thing we can hit with. And that's fine. If the Sandrock can get in range, that should be good enough. And you can use your cannons to maybe get a little bit in here. I like tank style units. And the zoo's just absurd. I spent all of my money giving Nelly Olsen here, our pilot, a tank operator ability. So if she does an extra 20% damage while in a tank. Yeah. 
and our flag. It can get in range. Hit with the linear. Let's go with the missile. Should do a bit of explosion damage, which is usually about 500. My understanding is a lot of these original characters, or characters you may not recognize, are from older G-Generation Gundam games that I haven't played, so I can't really give you any background on them, unfortunately. Alright, let's get some Sandrock action in. Gundam's do most of the heavy lifting in this so far, it seems, uh, over any other mobile suit. But again, most of what we have access to is early and grunt units, so it makes sense. Nobody is actually damaged, so... Oh, no, you are. That's all right. We'll go all out on this one. Maybe we'll get the third kill. And I don't know how many turns we have till the shuttle leaves here. Maybe I'm just gonna... throw caution into the wind and have... Wing Gundam go all out in moving there. Use our warship group units to weaken them for that scythe. He's still got a, a lot of the get gauge to fiddle. And final attacks are nice to watch. I'm pretty optimistic that we'll get another, I guess, buy-to-play console PC SD Gundam G-Generation title in the future. I think that the, the mobile gotcha one should... It's probably being used to generate resources and interest in a future title. Since development of assets can be expensive. All right, Blaine and Kyoto, thank you for dropping by. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you have a, a lot of fun this afternoon. actually get a hit in, but do we actually want you to? Not really. And lastly, get our ship up there. We'll probably demolish him. I don't want to actually do that. Again, I want Death Scythe to be able to take a couple of these guys out.
really want to, to finish getting these guys so we can actually deploy them as we wish. And that is an expensive and time-consuming endeavor. Is it is it uh, freaking out on you? Are you still having issues with it? Ugh. Is that just a standard HDMI to HDMI or USB? Oh, USB-C to USB-C. That makes sense. I think mine's old enough, but it's... Alright, Castley, thank you. I hope everything goes well for you. Wing can't quite make the cut, so... Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, we haven't seen an attack in bird mode in a bit. How old is it? It's so annoying and frustrating either way. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. I, uh, I would have to assume it's at least a handful of years at this point. I still think of USB-C as this fancy new technology, and it's not it's not all that new anymore. All right, well, you can get a second hit in while you're moving. We'll do it. Counter, so you're gonna evade. Can you counter with anything? Oh, Mega, Mega Beam can counter. That's nice. And the AI is kind enough. I want to spare him uh, to not just throw everything at us immediately. More than oh, don't think it's more than a year. Yeah, I, I would absolutely agree with that. I use Amazon Basics for most of my cables, and I don't know. For me, that that works. I, all right. All right, you're gonna finish him off, so we can get an extra movement and see if we can go to the shuttle and get rid of that. I don't know what that's going to trigger, though. So let me get some other attacks in first. Makes sense. I like to support local when I can. Oh, Mr. Rody still can't do anything here. Only local here is the big national chain. It's the same. I'm basically down in West Palm Beach, Florida, and there's not really anything local. It's all pretty much chains. Best Buy is really the best buy. <laughs> And yet nobody has nobody has uh, brought a lawsuit against them for false advertising. I think that's an opportunity right there. Uh, I'm actually a little bit about this. We'll worry about the zoo getting counterattacked, so let's spare it right now. 
In fact, all of these grunt units up here are a little bit worrisome. We'll transform the Union flag and see how this goes. Hopefully they don't just explode on us, because that'd be an expensive blunder. This tank is really good at shooting airborne targets. Yeah, that actually did more damage to me than I did to it. Not psyched about that one. Poor choices were made. I think we'll leave the fighting to the heavy arms and the sand rock up here, unfortunately. Yeah, you have plenty of energy to work with. Any of you damage at all? No. April this year for the cable. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Should be enough morale to get him. Nope, never mind. If we bundle these guys together, they're all heal up a little bit, so that's what I'm focusing on at the moment. Good news is I'm also pretty certain it's just the cable, because it can be fixed by unplugging plugging it back in. That is good news. The cards are a lot more expensive to fix or replace. But yeah, Deathside can absolutely wreck these guys now, which is nice. When I built my computer, I, I really messed something up so the front-facing USB ports don't work anymore. And it's not just a connection issue, which kind of sucks. Someday I'll get around to fixing that. We've still got to move. Oh, right, it's the, the wing. Pinpoint attack. Pinpoint attacks. Pinpoint attacks happen only when attacking a point occupied by a warship. Weapon power increases, dealing a lot of damage. Only units within range can provide support attacks and make use of this to sink airships. Cool. We're gonna watch this one, or not, because it doesn't allow it. And that should trigger the secret condition. Don't be rash now, young man. Another character ability. Charisma level 2. Mission complete. In about two minutes, I'm going to take a quick break to grab something from my fridge. What happened? Field Marshal. It's a declaration of war from the colonies, after we wanted to talk peace with them. Field Marshal was central to the talks, and now he's gone. Such a barefaced act of aggression. We will never give in to the colonies. We'll fight them tooth and nail. Yes, sir. Well done, General. But we'll no longer be needing you. 
What? A splendid performance. A pity you had to exit the stage. What? Your Excellency mustn't leave any blood in his wake. And now, the second act. We'll be busy. How shall we handle the Gundams at the base? I leave that to your discretion, my lady. Yes, Your Excellency. Colonel, requesting permission to head to New Edwards. Permission? No need for that. Ma'am? You need only activate the missile self-destruct sequence. Destroy the missiles? You can manage that remotely, yes? Yes, ma'am. Then move. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it would have never been this simple with the old alliance. The Gundams are finished now. Yeah, just keep on coming, don't they? Good, I won't rest until they're all gone. Until the entire Oz is gone. Stop this. What? You idiots, can't you see there's no point? Another Gundam. So, that makes five. Don't you get it? You wandered straight into Oz's trap. What did you say? You fools just wiped out the Alliance's peace faction. I'll be right back. I do need to go get something to drink. All right, I'm back. Apologize for that. I like playing SRPGs. It's just difficult to juggle multiple of them at a time. I kind of want to play a little bit of everything. All right. Uh, you fools just wiped out the Alliance's peace faction. This was all part of Oz's plan. They are just puppets, and Tracy Kujanat is pulling the strings. Telling us Tracy has been messing around this whole time? We he got us. Juggling multiple games in general is difficult. Yep. I think that's I would definitely agree with that. Some I think are easier to mix. Like if I string an MMO somewhere in with anything else I'm playing, I can kind of play it and drop it when I feel like it, but anything like live service style, like Monster Hunter, I think, for me, is hard to mix in with other things. I like to do that almost exclusively, because otherwise I just get bad at it once I put it down, and that's honestly the reason I haven't gone back to Sunbreak, is I, I know I'll be terrible at it for another month. So we need to catch him. We can still make it. Don't be stupid. The original plan was about finding an opening. The enemy's got the advantage now. 
You're right. Yay, more enemies to crush. Except they're kind of all around us. Crap. They'll just keep coming after us. I think they might be trying to surround us. Well, I'm still fighting Oz. I don't care if I have to do it alone. Gundam pilots, can you hear me? A woman. Hiro Yui, are you listening? Hmm? The base is undergoing a self-destruct sequence. The Oz is going to blow up the whole base, just to take you out. You have five turns until it explodes. What? Come on, just one thing after the other. Got it. There are multiple missiles installed around the base. And when they go off, they'll vaporize everything within a 300 kilometer radius. Seriously? We gotta get out of here. We just don't have the time. Not enough to cover the whole distance. Holy crap, then what do we... We need you to destroy those missiles in time. I know it's hard to believe. But I believe in you. I know I'm asking a lot, but please... Stop the explosion, hero. Hey, we actually get missiles to destroy. It's a nice touch. Missile locations confirmed. Oh well. Guess we're doing this. You fail, you die. Well, I'm not dying here. Locations confirmed. Destroying now. Jeez, I got the worst luck. This is too easy. Interesting. I'll get them all myself. Five turns left. Be careful. Ooh. And something else. And victory conditions have changed to destroying all large missiles within five turns. Uh, with 10,000 health? That seems a little difficult. I can't even get in range of one this turn. So I might as well see if I can take out a unit. I'm not gonna make the only thing still left. I will maneuver him onward and upwards. Just short of actually demolishing him in the head. Shield? Yeah, we'll watch this. I don't think we've seen the Death Side Shield. And we're 
could go over here. I can take out a couple units of attacks next turn. With Shenlong, I can move them a little further to get to the missiles. There's a lot of units coming from behind us. Oh, at least I positioned them, uh, that, that unit to heal up a little bit. You've got four turns left. I'm counting on you. So by having the wing gun do that at the end of last turn, as opposed to the beginning, I gave myself less time to deal with it. And you're just 200 short of actually murdering anything. Uh, two, three, four, there's 10 of them. have that side clean up here and we'll see if we can get Shenlong upward I was hoping for a critical there this turn has been a bit of a bust If too many of these progress focus on one of my grunt units down here, that will or could lead to me losing a unit, which is just expensive to replace. And I know that I can spend some of the stuff I've got built up from. Free handouts, but I don't want to do that. And Nelly also leveled up. A few more stats to work with. I want to move her as little as possible. So that she does not get targeted by the units coming up from behind us. Well, she deals half the damage to him, which is pretty all right. All right, and now... Get some kills with heavy arms. There we go. Everything should be a critical hit now, hopefully. There we go. Uh, 
blah, 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 blah. Strongest attack. And I will actually have... You move further up here to deal with the Tragos. Let's kind of save this entire unit. You guys need to fall downward. Yeah, we can get some support from the warship. Oh, I should watch that one. That's two down, but we get a level for the grace. And knowing what I know, um, I'm just going to throw some into attack for it for right now. Any little bit we can get will be useful for the remainder of this fight. Dare I. Full health. Alright. It's a little bit risky if we got a counterattack. But some damage is better than none. And we managed to dodge their counterattack too. That's an extra bonus on top. guys back have them fall back this way wing gundam should be able to get both of these two down here next turn If I were smart and capable, I'd want to focus on using this time to level up my units, but... Heavy armors take those three. Defended and lived. Wasn't quite expecting that. so close to being full. It would be nice to have an actual Gundam on our team. He cooled down though, so the morale bonus is no longer active. I don't know if you even keep anything in this game if you fail a mission. If 
We managed to evade it again and get the counter hit in. This tank is doing nice at evading. Good, and the Aries can't quite reach me yet. The warship can take a bit of a hit. I'd rather focus on the airship than the rest of my units. Pretty safe. We got three turns left. My tank is a little out of energy at the moment. You have three turns left, I'm counting on you. Uh, we can even start off with Wing just obliterating a couple of missiles down here. They should still get the move extra extra chance there. I do wonder if uh, Shamal still has more command even at level one with Luna at level three. Uh it's it's a it's a zoot. A, a Z U O O T. Is more command even at level one than at level three. Oh, I see what you're saying, but I don't quite understand it. Not because it doesn't make sense, but because I'm not familiar enough to know exactly what you're what you're getting at. Can you move? That's fine. I'll take that. Ooh, that's fine. Uh, doubt you mind my pondering the other OG with a lot of command you would have. It's better than the default captain of the carry base. I am a little bit perplexed, but I am also rather interested. I am not a particularly bright individual, unfortunately. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see what you're saying. Yes, yes, uh, there is almost for sure a better OG character than, um, I think it's Luna... Luna Mara? I've only kept them because I haven't played around with the, the carry base at all yet, and its crew. Xenon T- okay, yep. I will look into that. This is risky. And there's still one more missile beyond the back line. Alright. Take you out. More command means more range for capture and warship link on the ship to captain. Yeah, I'm going to want to do that. I'm going to want to to get to get that up. I'm going to want to actually make that better once I can start capturing units. I'll get to stages where I can capture units rather. 
Uh, we're gonna throw more attack into the tank. It's doing pretty swell so far. Come on, I wanna get you... It's out of energy. We'll move it last so we can position it near to other units. Uh, M1 is straight, it's your turn to get a kill. But of course you can't get right next to it. I like the M1 A astray, so let's take a look at it. It's shot. Yeah, reevaluating my entire crew is is it seems like a daunting task when I realize that only one stat on each crew member really matters. At a time. The fault commanding officer is the most auxiliary, so leave him. Mm. Throw you here, near me. Yeah. I'm worried for you. That entire top row is not cutting it. You. We got two more missiles on each side. No, no, I want to see what you can do. I want to see what you can do. So we want to get to the Gujan eventually. And of course, dispatch missions will help with just leveling up everybody, but... Combat experience is not bad. Uh, gonna link, worship link those areas coming on carry base. That would probably be the smart call. I believe I said that I'm a little bit overwhelmed by, by a lot of systems in the game. Um, that may be one of them. It's in the group area. What is our group area here? Oh, we got land. Nope, Landman Rodeo is just outside of it. Uh, connect the warship link up with teams in warship groups, multiple locks. Caps the number of deployable units to that of the enemy units. Uh, but you can concentrate attacks on one unit at a time. We got three, which is fine. I will use it to weaken the unweakened up. Units, and we'll go from there. Sorry, I'm done. It can be moved back in. I haven't quite grasped how to make the best use of a, a warship group, uh, and I think the lack of understanding of these warship link-ups is the cause. I appreciate it, honestly. I appreciate the advice you've got. Yeah, I didn't get the kill there, unfortunately.
but we'll do with this. I think I think I'll be able to, to grasp this pretty pretty soon. At least you didn't think I hammered is a replaceable one. Yeah, nothing's nothing's been destroyed yet. I'm okay with that. And we were throwing some attack at it for now. Seven hundred. You've got a character ability. I want to get you dead if I can. But we've got one more unit. Eighty-five chance to hit. That's our highest. She just automatically learns it. Okay. I don't think I don't do that, but I mix up my A and B buttons. some attack and we'll save that leftover pip Use. also Claire kind of sucks blood Billy plays Abram more get better stats I was just looking for someone who started off with high stats, and I just kind of threw people wherever they felt like. Again, I'm going to take a look at my crew and readjust. I know that if I ever... I don't know. Do a... Uh, b -b 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 kind of a more serious playthrough. Oh, well, that's a graphical bug right there. That was kind of cool. Very abstract unit. <laughs> Sorry, answering a brief text message. Who's left? Uh, Phoenix Gundam. Just short. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna stray. I don't need to do that. That's not beneficial. Oh, the roadie. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's go Super Rody. I still have another unit. Oh, Death Scythe. I don't know where I need to help. I guess he goes down here.
that is useful. I didn't realize he hadn't gone yet. to our strongest attack and hope we get something out of this. Nope, short. It looks like we'll be short on filling the get gauge for the heavy arms as well. That's not ideal. Not optimized that as much as I had hoped. Countering with you. And you have no energy, so you are just going to evade. Your health is okay for one attack. Two turns left. About four or five missiles. And you can take another attack. Attack the airship. Nice. Yeah, Luna Mana does not want to learn melee combat level two. Throw some mobility at it. I imagine that attack is probably, as in seemingly most cases, the better unit, better stat to level up. Ooh, Power of 2700 with a link up attack. He only has 3,400 health. I think defense is the way to go. We might lose this Tornado Gundam here. No, we're good. I will have to check Xenon out. Because getting the extra range there is going to be incredibly useful. Two turns left. Alright, so we got one missile down here. And I think we got two more up here? No. Uh, yes, two. That's fine. I think we can finish it this turn, so now it's just kind of maximizing and making sure we get as much off this map as possible. Warship Lincoln send in the trash next to carry base. Alright. Yeah. Um, Warship is out of energy. I should probably look into upgrading its energy as well, then. 
You need 30, I got 20. Uh, yep, that'll do it. I was careless in using my counterattacks. Good reason to watch what you're doing. But we should still be able to get heavy arms. We'll flag. That's a very weak raid link up. I don't know if that's worth it. Well, what do we got to lose? If somebody else attacks it, we're good. I appreciate your health today, fanboy is Brian. Having somebody who knows what they're talking about and what they what how to approach the game is useful. Reflex is level two. Or oh, level one. And we got heavy arms. On our production list. Uh, did I kill the missile down here? No, I did not. Alright. doesn't finish it off, which is perfectly fine, because I would not mind the M1A astray doing that job. Yeah, it's not going to get anywhere near close to being able to attack the units down here, which is fine. Uh, pity not enough to afford the heavy arms of the space tier in. As in design, that gives you the Viet, which is a pain to get other than design. We're going back from the Hydra Gundam. I think I already have a Space Tyrant. So, that would be good if I can get enough money for the for the Heavy Arms. Oh, you have no energy. You're useless. And you need to kill whatever you attack. Thirty-seven hundred versus your forty-seven. That's risky. We're gonna go for it. Do either of you have an ability? No. No abilities are remaining on the map. That was a grave miscalculation, but that's okay. I will live. 
Uh, yeah, you're gonna go return to ship. Yeah, yeah, that, that's my thoughts on the matter. Go, Logan! Taking care of business here. And he's out of energy at this point. We got one more turn. This is gonna end fine. We'll lose one unit. Should have probably used the skill from the warship at some point. It has no energy. Right. Unless they suddenly get a whole bunch of reserve units, we're perfectly fine. Uh, he can't counter with anything, we're just gonna go ahead and evade. And if Wing can't get close enough to the last missile to destroy it, I will use the roadie. But we're good. I am doing everything to increase that get gauge for these gunlings. Give me your excellency. I failed to get rid of them. Hmm? That's not like you at all. May I ask how exactly you chose to eliminate them? I attempted to destroy the base by activating the self-destruct sequence for the missiles stored there. And? They elected to destroy the missiles. The explosion was prevented. They've saved us. Your excellency? The Earth can only take so much. It wouldn't do to ruin it. We're per petty creatures, humans. Anyone can commit murder. We owe them thanks the next time we meet. Yes, Your Excellency. My lady, you've much to learn about Oz. Yes, Your Excellency. I'll learn. Stage two down. Get an extra level on uh, Nelly Olson there. Probably not the best character, but works. Add a little bit to our reserves in terms of capital. A couple of cooldown items. Maxed out the get gauge for the heavy arms. Uh, we can also recruit Kate Madigan. Kaite Madigan. Uh, since we have achieved a total kill count of 100. And Trawa Barton. Because we got the heavy arms. They will almost definitely be 
expensive to recruit. But let's take a look. Well, not that yet. Uh, organization. Units, production list. Heavy arms on clocks in at 29,500. That's all right. And maybe I'm going to be cheap enough to... Uh, what am I looking for here? Green ingots. Oh, it's tempting. All right, we're going to sell the green ingot. Gave in. Uh, and we will buy the heavy arms. Now we actually have a Gundam. And let's go to design. Uh, we can combine the heavy arms with the Astray to get the Vi8. the only new one we added. Let me take a look at what else we've got. Well, we sold... With the ingot, we sold. Let's take a look and see if we can get... Yeah, we can afford a ship with two bays. But... We are either restricted to space or ground. Very basic space or atmospheric. We get ground and surface. Anti-air attack, missile barrage, and a warship cannon. Your stats are pretty alright. Guyana. Baikal versus the Volga. It just looks like an upgrade. Ulenbeck. That's a design. do the Petri for ground and surface. What do you got? Anti-air attacks, missile barrage, and a warship cannon. splurge and we'll get the Volga for space. Not that we're involved with any space flights yet. And for... Move is 6. Carry base's move is 5 with 170 attack and 75 energy. Your energy is 100. You're fine for ground. And that eats up most of what I just purchased, which is fine. I am inherently fine with that. Buy is pretty clear. Pretty cool, sorry. Uh, Gundanium Alloy is an extra defense. It's tempting, but I don't think I'll do that at the moment.
Get the Maganac. The Strike Dagger's tempting. <laughs> not, not IBO, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. We were talking. Oh, I unlocked the space type. We talked about that. I'll get a space type. I have the suit. And I want the strike dagger. Other than that, I think I'll save the rest of the capital I've accumulated here for upgrades of sorts. Uh. I'll use the orb helicopter to get the M1 astray. Level six becomes an astray, that makes sense. I don't think I have anything to design, so I think we're good there. Alright. Uh the, the what can develop Chin Long Range could go to uh Sigu still. Space Grace type could be the Grays. Grays Space type. Uh, Dance Leaf team. Or the Grays Ritter Space type. Ooh. That is a stat upgrade. Third option's great for Raid team. Oh, that's got a map attack. We're gonna go with the uh, Dan's Leaf team because who doesn't like a good Dan's Leaf in, in their face once in a while? Phoenix Zero can become the Zero One, the Taurus, Ooh, the Ogundum, or the Hyakuren. Then a limit armor. Uh, GN Feather, damage dealt is 10% of enemies' max morale if attack is critical. With Beam Gun, uh, it has a GN Drive. Uh, Ray Stores, 10% of max energy each turn. Oh, unlocks Stargazer, I'm in. Stargazer is... Probably one of my top three, top three Gundams. Still gotta wait to level seven to see your last option. Uh, level eleven for you. Yeah, we're we'll get the Stargazer Gundam, and it's far too early to really want to make use of it, but. We can afford it, so I'm getting the Stargazer Gundam, because that, like I said, is one of my favorites. Rule de Loon. Yeah, Flash Mine. Just damage all over the place. Micro Machinery Technology restores 10% of max HP each turn. Sweet. First and second Barbados with the Grazy Bat unlocks the Dan's Leap Armed Gundam. Ooh. I think it'll be a while before we get to that, but I'm excited for that as well. Alright, now we can form groups again. And 
I want to group three. Well, first and foremost, let's change our carry base over. Four. The Ulenbeck. And let's start up raid group three. We're going to throw in... Where are you? We'll throw in Stargazer. Uh, who else do I like? Strike Dagger. Oh, yes, yes. Group 1 to replace the Busted Mech. Um, I think it'd be nice just to replace with Gundam Heavy Arms. Just kind of symbolically, we destroyed it and we gained Heavy Arms, so... And I'll clean up group two afterwards. We'll throw the Dan's Leaf in there. Just as you get something before building group three. And lastly. Throw in a mobile worker. No. It's almost tempting just to throw the mobile worker in there. But maybe we'll just go with again. again. Oh. Oop. Went back too far. However, we get Selene McGriff and Soul Line Lounge because we developed the Stargazer. That plays in well because I wanted to scout characters. We have three pilots we could theoretically afford. Uh, Mikhail Coast, Lucrezia Noin, or Trow Barton. And since we are playing Gundam, playing, and we have the heavy arms, let's grab Trow Barton. Uh, he's got a skill, damage taken minus 30% in the next turn for selected unit within the selected area. Oh, also Operation Meteor. Or plus 10% damage, minus 10% taken in 101 combat. Evasion and accuracy plus 5%. And morale point changes are halved. Yep. Uh, I'm going to grab him. And no disrespect to uh, Azalea here. We're going to throw Trow in with you instead of you. And you are now out of a unit because we developed something or other. Uh, progress, I don't think we need. Here, you can pilot the mobile worker for now. We'll use that just to level it up a couple times and uh, see what we can get out of developing it. Alright, group two, you need a massive cleanup. I'll keep Mark Gilder, I think, in. No. Alright. Let's just wipe everybody out. Uh, is there an easy clear? Yep, 
Well, we're just gonna disband all of you. And we'll throw in... Xenon is captain of carry base. Right, right, right. Where are you, Xenon? Or whatever you got now. Oh, there he is. Xenon Teagle is up at the top. Yeah, his command is 155, but he's only level 1, which is why we want him. And then nobody is higher. Just double checking. Absolutely, Xenon. Uh, commanding officer. Uses aux or auxiliary, I believe it is. Oh, you saw it. Okay. And this will be auxiliary. Just 161. We want to see improvement in that if we can. I'm just doing a quick check to see if we can make some other improvements here. Dinnabol's got the most. Do you know if the others are pretty much just one for one the best? Um, 150 on the middle Luna. He's at level 4. That, that might be a high contention for communications. That's what I was going to deploy, so that works out. Uh, navigation. Ernst Jaeger is already shaping up to be better. Sidani Almaz. Maintenance. 134. Uh, Nimrod also looking to be significantly better. In you go. Uh, and lastly, Charisma. 146. Uh, Claire is already better, but she's at level 4. With 152. Racial Ransom. I don't think that's quite close enough. 40. It's either Claire or Rachel Ransom. So she gets... I know she's level one. I'm trying to figure in the, the difference here and how much she gets per level. If it's two to three per level, we'll throw Claire in since she's already leveled up a little bit. And I'm still unsure anything about how to really look into pilots. Is there, obviously, you know, melee and ranged and all that matter. Um... Awaken, I know, matters for awaken attacks. Reaction and defense matter for dodging or mobility. Sort. Characters, somebody can prioritize. Stats. The most part, I just, I just want... Do they do more ranged weapons or range damage for ranged base Gundams, etc.? Is there any weird, any weird stuff going on here I should be aware about? Um, 
I'll probably focus on that a little bit later. I want to get group two sorted. Uh, I want the M1 Astray. I like the Zoot Tank. I like the Union Flag. And I could take or leave the Ewak, the, the Leo Ewak type for now. And I think I will throw in... I could use the Phoenix Gundam, I could. It only needs a few more levels. Or it can be useful. Let's throw in the Phoenix Gundam as the last one. Developing something out of the Phoenix Gundam will be nice. Sorry, answering a quick text. There. Piloting time. M1 Astray. Beam Saver's nice, but the other two attacks, the primary attack we're looking at here is going to be this Beam Rifle, so we want to get somebody with good range. And it's sorted by stats. Once. What I want is a filter. Now I think. No, I'm looking. No, I didn't. I'm talking a mile a minute, and I'm not thinking at all. Range 155. Luna Man is at four, though. Yeah, she's worse. 174, Randall. Oh, he's. A turn has got better range. Hey, Ted, how you doing? How's your honey going? Everybody, uh, Ted is a good friend of mine, also my moderator here. And uh, he's got bees of the friendly kind. And he has been making honey. Okay, there we go. We got we can pull it out to sort by which range and reaction. Trow obviously being better than anybody else. Turna is pretty good for range and reaction, so she is going in our sniper M1 astray. I like having Nelly in our tank because she gets the additional 20% damage. And... Oh, Ted, thank you for the subscription. I always appreciate it. And I am not getting any of the fancy... Uh, stream element sound, so I do apologize for that. I'll take a look into that. Uh, I'm not shouting out Ted because he subscribed. I'm shouting out Ted because he also streams pretty much every weeknight. I'm always over there. Being bombed by ads. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have those on to remind me to get up and walk around. Uh, and Ted and I, along with uh, our friend Teldros have been doing a Arkham Horror living card game campaign playthrough with the Dunwich Legacy on Ted's channel on Friday evenings. Two gallons, ooh. That's what, eight bucks? Sorry, a gas joke. Uh, the Union flag is pretty well mixed here. Twenty pounds. Ooh. Busy, busy day. So we want somebody here who's got defense. And sort. 
jarring now. Oh, I hope you know. I hope it goes well for you. I know that's that can be a lot of work. Um, I'll go for defense and ranged. Ideally, I don't. Maybe melee. Actually, eh, we'll see what happens. I'm going the long way. Kachua Reese gets 240 defense, followed by 48 melee. Obviously Trawa. Azalea is pretty alright, but she's at level 3. Let's see what we got from the others. Reed A. Schultz. Not quite as high defense, but a better melee and weaker range. Azalea is a better all-rounder. Billy's good. I think we throw Azalea into the Union flag. And Phoenix Gundam, I believe, has an Awakened stat. So we want somebody who has not Awakened Zero here. Awaken and ranged. I think is what we're looking for. Beam saver, beam rifle. Yeah, three out of four of those are ranged. Ivan. Great awaken, terrible everything else. Two thirty and a hundred. I think Sismitville here is our option for the Phoenix Gundam. And okay, here we have Stargazer, melee, range, range, flash mine. It looks like it just straight up does 4,500 power damage, regardless of anything else. And I'm not sure we want the Stargazer in melee combat. So... Let's see who we can give you. Let's just look at range. And... We only want to focus on either reaction or defense. And we're going to... It's got higher mobility, which I think contributes to evading. So... Duh. Number one, we want range and reaction. Range and reaction. Uh, looks like Ranelo might be our boy. Again, Mark Gilder's still good. Blood would be good if we were looking for a melee based unit. Brand looks good, actually, surprisingly. 150 on each. And that'll surpass Mark Gilder pretty quickly there. I think we'll throw Brand in the in the Stargazer for now. Strike Dagger, we are looking for somebody who does melee. We are going to go ahead and drop blood in there. The 
Dan's Leaf, ideally we'll be using the map weapon, you know, for as much as we can, which is probably about one use per map. And we want somebody with high range and mobility. Um, I don't want to waste Billy here. Well, 152. Maybe even Luna Mana. No, Abram. We're going to we'll throw Abram in a Dan's Leaf. Last of the Jin. Kind of all around, but primarily range and mobility. I think Ranalo. All right, I'm probably not optimal. Um, I'm happy with it for now. We have... I can throw in a second team here as well for the Warship group. And I can kind of just throw whatever we've got in it. These are not our priority. They've already got some solid units with them. said. You're not a defensive type, so our stats still hold. Luna Mana. You can take the long range type. The Tragos is 100% ranged. And definitely a defense unit. So instead of reaction, we're going to look at defense here. Billy Blaze, congratulations. Your potential is being wasted in the Trigos. The you know, ground type can kind of take anybody. Um, a little bit of a melee focus would be probably better. Free Schultz. 200 in melee. 175 defense. I like both of those. 80 reaction is not great. Throw you out in the Leo ground type, and the Leo Ewak type is ranged and whatever we feel like. We can continue to grow Mark Gilder. Excuse me, I apologize. All right, so these are our new teams. Uh, I'm especially excited that we... Uh, have uh, the O Gundam now. In fact, I will... I don't know if it matters. I'd really like to swap with the O Gundam. And Phoenix, you can kind of take a back seat. And we'll swap... Penshi with... Who else is out there? Go Logan. We'll swap you guys so we can have the Ogunda being the master. Uh, we also have tr heavy arms here in our warship group, which is nice. And our first and primary raid group has got the M1A Astray, the Zoo Tank Mode, a Phoenix Gundam, and a Union Flag. Followed by our secondary raid group with the Stargazer Gundam, a, a Gray's Dansleaf. Jin and the Strike Dagger. Things are starting to get kind of exciting. 
And in case the game decides to crash, we're gonna save. And... What else do I need to do? I only have 2,500 capital, roughly. 4,500, one of the two. 2,500 exactly, all right. Uh, so we're gonna send uh, units out on dispatches. Completed most of the ones available to me at the moment. These take place in real time, three hours and eight hours almost. I can use cooldown items to reduce that. I want a raid group with elegant and charismatic ability. But for some reason, my worship group will complete that without issue. So we're gonna go ahead and give them the Operation Daybreak so we can get a few rewards. I don't think I have stage strategies to spend data. But it's nice that it gives me the warning. And we don't do anything while these are out, it's just that we can't use that group. It's fine. Uh, and for the longer mission, uh, we don't have a group that's well suited for it. So I can send somebody off to complete it and we'll get a little bit of progress or I can see if I can do one of these dailies. It'll take a little bit longer and probably use some of these cooldown items I've been accumulating. Sunday training gives a lot of experience and a little bit of capital and maybe a character ability. Daily Space Patrol uh, Gives a lot of capital, a little bit of XP. Same for the daily ground patrol. It's just one's in space, one's on the ground. And it looks like we are not going to get anything easy out of this. And we won't have a second shot at Sunday training since the date will change. So I guess for now we're just going to have our warship group out on uh, dispatch and we'll deal with other ones later. Um, I think that's probably a good place to call it for the day. Uh, I am keeping track of what I do off stream. Uh, so if you're interested in them, let me know. I've written up a document detailing what's going on. And I would be happy to share that. Uh, thank you all for coming out today. Thank you, Ted, for the subscription. Thank you, Crystal, for dropping by. Thank you, everybody, for chatting. Uh, Ghastly and uh, Lightning Kyoto. Especially, thank you, Fanboyos Prime, for all of your instruction and all of your uh, education there. I don't see anybody on who would probably make it for a good raid, so I'm going to call it without doing a raid. I think I'll be back. I'm going to aim for tomorrow. No guarantees. It depends on how the day goes. That'll probably be a shorter stream tomorrow afternoon, probably about 5, 5.30 p.m. EST. So if you come back for that, I, uh, I'll see you then. Otherwise, uh, have a good week. Bye-bye.